synchronizing a two rail slide out room. While retracting my slide today I noticed a slight gap on the rear bottom side of my slide. It looked like it was about two inches off but the front was aligned perfectly. Looked it up on the manual I noticed that the alignment is adjustable. The way to adjust it is start by sliding out the slide about a foot and you measure each side from the motorhome wall to the outer slide out wall. It's four and a quarter inch on the front and after measuring the back I come up with six and a quarter inch. So I'm off two inches and I need to slide that in. According to the instruction, this is synchronizing your RV slide out rail timing. Now, the technical term is the rails that are out of sync or the gear timing is off to realign the room. Follow the simple steps below and you know and synchronize your RV slide out rails. The whole assembly on that diagram is below my compartment doors, of course, so they're very easily accessible. The first step is to remove the cotter pin from the idler drive shaft. The second step is to push the idler drive shaft towards the opposite rail to disengage the gear from the gear rack. You will notice that the shaft gear is no longer engaged in the uh, sliding rear. And then the third step is to adjust the gear timing by sliding the idler rail side of the room to the proper position, which you measure to ensure the same distance from the frame as the drive rail side. After all this looks well, you go to step four, push the idler drive shaft back into position, engaging the gear onto the gear rack. Smack in the middle there. Beautiful. And finally, number five, reinstall the cotter pin into the idler drive shaft. Very important not to forget that. Cotter pin back and then try it and see if I regain my alignment. After you measured again each side and it looks okay, then you extend and retract the slide a few times and check for proper room flange sealing. If the room is not properly aligned, repeat all the steps again. Uh, keep in mind that depending on the size of your slide, you may need help moving the room by hand. Mine was very easy to uh, move by sliding the uh, slide out about a foot. It was sitting on the roller which sits on the floor of the motorhome. So it was very easy to move those few inches. Just to be safe, I'm going to extend and retract the slide a few times to make sure it doesn't go out of alignment again. And right after this, I'm going to loop all the gears and all the sliding parts in the assembly. Perfect, nice and flush. W40 lithium grease is what I will uh, be using to lube all the gears. Keeping everything lubed will avoid rust, squeaks, and wear on those gears, which I would imagine would be very expensive to replace them. Also keep in mind that there's many slide out manufacturers out there. The particular one I have here with the power gear slide out system for standard or flat floor. Hope this will help someone out there and you all have a great day.